You're listening to Darling Shine, a podcast by Elodie Pullen and myself, Chloe Fisher. Darling Shine is your survival kit to the unexpected shit life throws at you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this special episode of Darling Shine. We are very, very excited to be here because it is our first episode with our new little bubba. I'm not going to not going to say her name yet, but congratulations, Elle. You're a mum. <laughs> Thank you, Muffin. How is this even a thing? Like I just still, I'm, I'm still so used to seeing you with the belly and like us talking <laughs> every day and like when is this going to happen and guessing and it's like she's here now and it's And now weird. when I call you, it's in the middle of the night when I'm feeding. And <laughs> <laughs> what the yeah, hell? Yeah, now I have to beg you to call me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel like um, real life. I know, I know, I know, and I still can't believe I'm not there. But anyway, where that's just like annoying. But, but yeah, so she's literally one of the few babies in Australia that's like of her kind. And when I say kind, she's, she's a rare species still. She's a rare species. She's a rare miracle sent from her little daddy in heaven to her yeah. mama. But that's yeah, so 15 special. months. It's crazy that only 15 months ago was chumps passing and now she's here earthside isn't that bizarre isn't it's that wild because i know that she she would be here regardless if he was here or not i feel like i mean if he was here she would be here for sure because surely by now we would have fallen pregnant or you yeah know. yeah but yeah it's it's just wild surreal. she's actually on Elle's lap right now she's so cute but um but yeah we're that. gonna have a full birthing episode and Elodie's gonna go into every single bit of detail of how it didn't go to plan um and Fucking that's gonna come up <laughs> that's gonna come in a few weeks but <laughs> we figured we'd jump on we'll give you guys a bonus episode because I know that you guys are all sitting on the edge of your edges of your seat trying to like get any information out of us especially our darling mm. shine Facebook community every oh day God, you guys them. are all like any update what's going on you're like screenshotting anything we post on Instagram and sharing on there we love we love our darling shine Facebook community so if you're not a part of that go to our Instagram mm. and on our link in our bio there's a link there you better join that community because it's popping off. It's so funny the amount of fortune tellers and shit that are now out there. Like the amount of people Chloe <laughs> and I had messaging us when I went offline for that few days being like, oh, you know, I woke up with an inkling in my belly that maybe Papa Chumps, you know, or maybe you're in labour or something. And we were like, no shit, brah, been offline for four days. <laughs> it is my due date. But you are a psychic. <laughs> Oh, I thought people were saying so that to me as well. Even like <laughs> a few days later, going, I, I get this every time I wake. I've woken up. I've got pinches in my belly. Like I've, I've seen a rainbow this morning, and I'm like, yeah. Well, she was, she was actually born four days ago, but yeah, you you keep you keep thinking that. Doll. <laughs> people were having like their own contractions. They were like, I'm feeling your pain, and I was like, fucking okay, Kaz, don't quit your day job. <laughs> Oh my god, you're too much. <laughs> no, I well, love how them though. how are you anyway though? Like, tell me, you've been oh, a mum for a bit over a week now. What's mum yes. life like? What will it, it's probably like nine days or something, or eight days. But um, it is like it's crazy. The hormones are just flying, and I feel like I'm like running on adrenaline. Um, I feel like so weirdly, and I honestly feel weird to say it out loud, and I almost feel guilty, but. I do feel like the happiest, ever. like I didn't think that it would be possible to feel this happy. Like I just oh, feel so cry. happy. And it's so weird to say that because Chump's not here and he should be here. No, you're actually, I, I it's should. actually everything that I would have imagined though. Like you, of course you're going to be, like, it, I it feel is. Like I just, she's my life. This is now my purpose and like, I just like so scared of something happening to her or even now I'm so worried about my own life because like what what if something happened to me and I've seen how things can just happen like to jump and like just in like a click of a finger shit can just go wrong and I'm so worried like I've actually heard Brit say it before she's like I'm scared that something's gonna happen to me because of Matilda like what what would happen to her I'm so scared that something's gonna happen to both of us but like I don't live in fear obviously like that silly thing to do or to even say but it's just um yeah I'm like this is just everything she's just the absolute best and I can't believe I've got like a piece of chump back and I'm so happy 
but I feel bad saying it. It feels weird, you know, know. It's not yeah. here. I know. It's like fucked just, up. It's so fucking like, unfair. Just everything, like the whole, you know, it sounds lame, but like, you know, everyone knows about Mini, the whole world, the nation, there's been that documentary, stuff like that. And it's like, that shouldn't be, like, I, I, it's such a beautiful story in so many ways, but it shouldn't be the way. It shouldn't be that I'm, you know, on this documentary or like just everything, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy. I know. But it's... like, but how am I? I'm great. I'm so happy. It's, I'm, it's just like a lot and it's, it's, it's literally the best thing. I don't know what I would do without her. By the, by the looks of it from my point, like from my stance anyway, you absolutely are killing it in every single aspect. Like you, you, <laughs> she seems like she's been the dream. I have so much support and help around me. I wish you were here, but you would just love her. But I know, I mean, it's almost like where has she been all my life? I just feel like I've taken to her. So like it just feels like she's always been here and this was just so meant to be. And I just, I'm not scared. I'm not worried. I'm not. Like I'm just feeling into how she feels and we're just doing our thing and I've just been so lucky to have everyone around me like like I've just, just got the best support and advice. I've just got um, great mum friends or, and great friends and my mum and my brother and everyone around me who's just I'm so calm, I'm so relaxed, I'm just feeling into her and me and what I'm feeling and like maybe Chump's guiding us. I, I feel him like at night when I'm feeding, I'm feeling that he's there I just, she's so, I just like hate to say this and touch wood because who knows what might happen, but she's so perfect. She sleeps and eats uh, and feeds like a champ. And I hope, I hope that's just Don't Chumpy give her any McDonald's both. chips yet. She's not <laughs> no eating yet, surely. You. <laughs> just feeding. Feeding at drive through <laughs> Sorry, I'm a fucking mess. <laughs> I can't wait till we can see each other and hug. I know it's gonna be a moment I know oh she's so cute she's literally an angel she has she just doesn't she loves a nap she she definitely loves a little nap oh she's so (laughs) cute but how um oh okay well do you want to have the honors on saying her name for the first time on Darling Shine podcast Mimi Alex Pullen welcome to the world Simba oh my god Oh my god! Turn her around. Having our own little Lion King moment. Oh my god! Now you're gonna you wake okay? her up. Okay, I hope I don't wake her. Oh my god, she Hello. is seriously. She lives up to her name because she's actually a she, miniature. She's tiny. Oh, so she's cute. Tiny. Um. So why? Why? Why the name oh, Mini? Sorry. Um. Okay. So Mini. So Chump and I did have a list of names. Mini actually wasn't on the list he really liked the name Ava for a girl but I knew that I wanted whether it was a girl or a boy to definitely be very symbolic of Chump's of Chump and definitely include his name like of course the last name but then if it was a boy I was definitely thinking Chumpy for the middle name and if it was a girl I was definitely thinking Alex and maybe Chumpy for the middle name for the girl so it would be like his name on the back of her name and Minnie I've just always loved the name Minnie we have friends who call their kid Minnie um but she's like I don't know eight or something now um but I yeah and I just I just fell in love with Minnie because I'm just like you're a little mini him and mm-hmm. I I did want Minnie Chumpy Pullen but then when she came out I just, I actually did like a poll with all the midwives and the student midwife and mum. I was like, all right, guys, final thoughts. What is it? Yeah, what's it going to be? Mini Alex Pullen or mini Chumpy Pullen? And they were like, oh, they were like, Alex is so much more classic. You'll never, you'll never get sick of it. And it's also not as, you know, like if it's everyone knew Chumpy by Chumpy and he's such a special person and everyone knows him as Chumpy, not so much Alex. So in essence, like I feel like, this little girl can kind of be whoever she wants. She doesn't have to, not that she would have to live up to anything, but mm. with, a, with a middle name like Chumpy, I, yeah, I don't want it to be like presumptuous of you've got to be like this and because it's mini Chumpy Pullen. It's like Chumpy Pullen Jr. kind of yeah. vibes because of that first name. I mean, not, you know, I'm just thinking yeah, into it yeah, a lot, no. but I'm so glad with mini Alex Pullen. It's super classic and 
yeah, I, I just, I literally just love her name so much. <laughs> I'm like obsessed. Oh, I'm just so my proud. God. I'm just such a proud mum. That's what I, I'm proud. Mum and dad. Mum, dad. I'm a proud mummy and daddy in one. Oh, she's <laughs> so cute. So, how big is she? How much did she weigh? Oh, was little she tot. literally mini? She was mini. She weighed. 2.8 when she came out. I mean, look, I think it's just on the small end of normal. Like, I mean, like, you yeah, know, she's not, she's just like, but like, she was just so small. I grabbed her. I'm like, whoa. But then I'm also like, how were you inside me? I just, I've, everyone must think that, like, how, how literally, I'm looking at her now, she's all stretched out. And I'm like, there's no chance you could have fitted in me, but she easily could have because I could be a week overdue, you know? Yeah. Because like, it's um, wild. Because what she was born on the twenty fifth of October, but her actual due date yeah was the twenty ninth, the twenty ninth of October. Yeah. yeah, so you're a little bit yeah. early, but but your placenta was huge, though. Yes, placenta was massive. They said it was like double the thickness of a normal <laughs> one. They said it was just really thick and big. So, you, so maybe so she didn't have much room in there. She was just tiny. So you've got tot. plenty of pl- placenta pingers, so you call them. Oh, yeah, I've got my placenta pingers. That, I mean, look, I'm day three or four on them. So far, so Actually, good. Yeah. Rummy right now is just like on my lap as well. So I've got the egg and rummy. <laughs> you definitely, you got your hands sore now. Yeah, I've got a bit on. Luckily, she doesn't need, like, luckily, rummy's easy. It's pretty funny when we leave the house. I'm like, all right, so I've got my adult nappy on. Um, Minnie's got her, <laughs> Minnie's got a fresh nappy on and I've got poo bags for Rummy. I'm just like, everyone, check, check, check. We've got three of us. We're, in case anyone shits, I'm covered. Oh, including yourself. <laughs> Literally, I'm like changing Minnie's nappy. Mm, maybe I'll change mine too. <laughs> wow, how long do you have I'm to wear nappies see. for? Oh, I'm still still just like fluids coming out. Really? Just, I don't know, apparently it comes out for weeks. Well, we can. Stunning. I mean, everyone's different. It's slowing up a bit now. I notice if I go for a walk, like if I'm on the beach and I'm up and about a lot during the day, it's a bit more fluidy. But um, <laughs> anyway, this is a stunning conversation. For a don't, don't get used to it. Do you, do you just wear your pants sometimes because you're lazy? Oh, I don't wear – at home, I'm fucking naked. Like I'm just proper – well, that's, that's motherhood. Okay, so motherhood is like – I don't know about other mums, but I'm never in, I'm just pretty much in my nappy and like my bra one of my bras is always down. So there's tits coming out, everyone's coming over and like they just they just have to deal with it. I mean no one cares. Oh it's just when the postman rocks up and I'm like, just leave it at the door. <laughs> I'm not coming not coming to greet you. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. so funny. And motherhood is also what I've realised is just rags lying around everywhere. Like you never want to be a metre away from a rag. So there's just fucking rags and like cloths and little towels and shit everywhere because like you just never know when she's going to spew or need or like need a little burp or, or need a little That rap. seems like, to be like the number one thing because I remember when we, I was shopping for all your baby shower gifts, our friend Lauren, because well, she had just had a baby, she, I was saying, what is the number one thing that you need? She's like, rags, rags, rags. And I'm like, well, I'm not buying her <laughs> rags for her baby shower. <laughs> Literally just give me your old self. T-shirts. <laughs> let me let me buy some nice cute stuff but yeah it's funny because I got so many swaddles like given to me beautiful swaddles and I'm thinking fuck I'm gonna have to re-gift all these because I, I don't need you know this many swaddles like I I think I had like literally 20 and I was like now I'm like I'm probably gonna need them all <laughs> like I, I had like half a side to re-gift <laughs> oh my god Thanks. oh I'm loving these little um nipple nipple cups these little silver things I don't know what they're called silverette breast cups you could google them or something and this is like colloidal silver so I guess this is a bit of a recommendation colloidal silver it's really healing mineral and it just with your breast milk in it like because your tits just leak it just heals up your nipples so yeah no one probably cares but I'm I'm loving those and when my milk came in I was like my tits killed. They were massive. Like I showed you a photo, Chloe. I yeah. looked like a full. Like I looked like I got a hell good tit. Like a, a boob job. She's looked loving epic. life. <laughs> I was like, poor <laughs> chump's not even here to see these puppies. Um, <laughs> but the um, the the body ice like heat packs. I chucked them in the microwave. Those those ones that sponsored one of our episodes. Chucked them on and. It just like releases all the milk that's built up and, for, and really? it just felt so good having the heat. So, yeah, I would really recommend those by um, Body Ice is the brand. 
they are stunning. worse. They were a game changer. And the little perineum pack because I did, um, well, we're going to go into the birth episode, but I'm going to tell you I did need the perine- perineum ice pack down there for a few days. And the swelling, the swelling. Oh, dogs, you don't want to know about the swelling. <laughs> you'll know about it though later. <laughs> yeah, you'll know about it. Just wait for the episode. Um, so what I wanted to ask you and I wanted you to share with our listeners is the moment that you very first met her. Like did you pull her out or did the midwives pull her out or did your mom? Oh, she's a little slippery slug. She. Um, <laughs> so look, just paint a quick little picture just to, just a teaser for the birth app. We were just on all fours on the floor, on a mattress on the floor, and so she was coming out, which what felt like my bum, and then, <laughs> and then I think you know the midwife's just flopped her on the floor, right, like underneath me, and I've just grabbed her and pulled her up and popped her on my chest, and she's like this little purple thing, and oh yeah, so I didn't know what she was and I had a look, and I was like. <laughs> girl and I looked into her eyes and I said she's got Chumpy's eyes it was literally the first thing I saw so the first thing I saw were her eyes and I was like she's got Chumpy's eyes and then I looked what she was and she was a girl and um mum and I like we were just fucked we just looked at each other and was crying and um like probably the midwives were crying too I don't know I don't know what was going on they're amazing but yeah it was like I think from that moment on I was like I'll do that all again and you hear every mum say that but the birth was just like you know I I don't think but I don't know anyways we're going to get into it was torture but (laughs) but I was like fuck, that was obviously that was worth it. And straight away just kind of like I need to not forget about the birth. Like I need to remember every minute because now that she's here, I'm just like, ah, oh, it was an absolute breeze and here's Mimi. <laughs> oh, my God. Because you like you forget. I think your brain's trained to forget about that shit, the painful stuff. Yeah, I you can know? imagine. But obviously it was like the best moment in your life since Chumpy was here, obviously. Literally. Li- like I just I, I've never f- – it's a – wild completely crazy feeling every mum says it and yet I never imagined I just I didn't imagine it for me in light of everything and I think I'm feeling it and it's fucking wild and I can't wait for you to have this clue like it's oh, it literally don't. makes I'm so me so excited just, yeah with the with the birth did you how did you feel about obviously not having chump there was it like were you thinking about that a lot or was it something that like you were in such in crazy mm. labour moments that you were just kind of going in and out of it? Like how did you feel about that without having him there? I thought about Chump a lot through the birth and I had a photo of him and Rummy there like when I was like I would be in the bath and I had the photo of him and Rummy right there. Um, I was thinking about him heaps and I felt that he was right there. There was a moment, oh, I think I'm going to save some stuff for the birth, app, but I definitely felt him there but <laughs> – there was definitely some times during some contractions where I was literally thought I was going to die and I was like where the fuck is Chumpy this hurts why is he not making this better and the midwives were like mate this fucking this like sorry no one can help this pain oh (laughs) um but no look mum was incredible she like yeah she was amazing at birth. I saw um, all, all the videos that you sent me. Um, your mum just looked like she fitted into the position of birthing partner like a little angel. She was just patting you and she seemed she so, so cool, calm and collected, mm. dressed dressed like she was going to the Met Gala. Yeah, she was like going to literally the races that, no, like she was dressed in heels, a dress I love and it. a belt. I love it, it was like that. But that's mum dressed down. So she was like, but giving births, let's like this. That was just like her outfit. <laughs> her birth outfit. I love your mum's style. It's amazing. No matter where she goes, she always looks fucking incredible. Yeah, she looks hot even when she goes to bed. I wish that I was like that. I think she must look at me and just be like, who the fuck are you? Where did you come from? Why don't you care? (laughs) Brush your hair, mate. Like you look like, you. yeah, me and her are so different. Like I just walk out looking like poo and she's always looking (laughs) fucking stunning. Oh, bless mum. Um, oh. And how how long did you spend in the hospital, like before you before you came home? We spent two nights in there and, yeah, like. It actually I, seemed like for me a week because I think Elodie <laughs> came out and I was like, you had the baby a week ago and we haven't even spoken. She's like, no, I actually had her two days ago. I'm like, Literally. Oh. 
<laughs> well, I had it like 2 a.m. So then that next night was almost like a whole. It was almost like yeah. three nights. Yeah, you know? okay. Um, but the oh, being in the hospital, I mean, lots of people just want to get the fuck out of there, but I loved it because the midwives are right there on hand. My milk came in before I left, which was like just super fast, and they helped me with all that, you know, and – I just loved lying there being horizontal and just being fed. I can't even tell you how much I've been eating and how hungry I've been. And I don't have a problem with the hospital um, food. I had some Sangers for you, doll. I didn't go the yes. egg. I went oh, the you're cheese tripping. and tripping. I can't believe you didn't Tommy. do that. I'm going to make – when I come home, I'm going to make us egg and lettuce sandwiches. <gasps> My nan used to make them and they're that good, especially when Not the eggs sure are like a little bit warm. Smell. Yeah, what? if the egg's warm, that's fine. But if it's okay. cold and you've chucked it in your lunchbox and you've gone I'll to make- school with it. Oh, I mean, that. I probably wouldn't have an egg and lettuce sandwich in my lunchbox at school, but like oh, if my mum's making it, it for it. That's I why mean, I'm you probably cause... could. You no, because we'd be like in the year 12 area and someone in year seven would whip out their egg fucking sandwich from like three <laughs> kilometres away and everyone would just be like, oh, what is that smell? And that's why I'm oh. so cut. I can't do Okay, it. well, when I come home, I'm going to make you an egg and lettuce sandwich <laughs> and, and it will be warm for you because you're a princess. That's fine. Princess yeah, with egg. white bread and butter, please. You're a princess egg. We're princesses. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so when you came home, obviously I like, do you want to talk to us about what it's like to be home with her? You've obviously had a lot of visitors, your mom, your brother. Tell oh, us about that. <laughs> um, so I was in the, for the last night I got moved into this shared room at the hospital and I was like, oh, Minnie, when you get home, you're going to be like, holy shit, mum's fucking rich because like our house is like, you know, a normal, like, you know, it's not like a mansion, but it's just like a house. Whereas we were in like this little four man, like dorm room hostel at the fucking <laughs> hospital. <laughs> so we got home and, um, yeah, it was just I think I I think I was a bit like apprehensive to go home because I was loving having that time with just me and Minnie in the hospital and I couldn't have visitors because we were over the border and the borders are closed. And um so I, it was honestly so nice just being me and her for like two or three days. And then so going home I was a bit like, oh shit, what like fuck, this is gonna be hectic. But everyone, especially like mum and bro, of obviously they're just so emotional and beautiful and amazing and obsessed with her like she's just like all of ours little girl kind of thing um of course like our other family like chump's family's not up here and so is my da- my dad's not up here um but yeah just all the girls and everyone is, has just been so amazing like not only when they come over are they just so great with her but they're cooking and cleaning for me and just being incredible and making my life so easy like they'll come over and be like we've got mini you go upstairs for a nap and I'll come back down two and a half hours later and she'll be cooked for me I'll have a clean house like it's just and I'm just like guys what what are you doing like thank you so much I can't believe it like I've been in tears because I just can't believe I'm so overwhelmed with the support and how amazing everyone has been and they're like mate you don't need to do this alone it takes a a village to raise a kid like we are fucking here for you like and who doesn't love a newborn baby exactly everyone's just frothing especially because they just sleep so you hand her over and she's just like doing this like a lot of the time she's not until she starts squawking and like like but Tiana's amazing she'll just like rock her and like just I don't know nurse her and yeah we're lucky because we've got heaps of friends up here that are like have have a bunch of kids so they kind of just it's you know obviously second nature to them and how did um, um, Chumpy's parents, because I haven't even asked you, like we haven't even spoken yeah. about this, but when Chumpy's parents met her for the first time, how was that? It's it's, on, it's really been so emotional. Like like I was saying before, like this is the best and she's amazing, but it's it's obviously just so fucking bittersweet. Like it's I'm sending them all videos and photos and when we talk, it, I think we're always crying. We're just like, where the fuck is Chump? How? Like, mm. you know, we just know how amazing he'd be and he'd be the best, most doting dad. And he just, I'd probably never, he'd probably try and bloody breastfeed her. I'd probably never even get her. <laughs> <laughs> he'd just be so like, he, he, yeah, you know, you know what he's like with Rummy. It would just mm. be times a t- hundred. Um, so it's, I think we feel like a, a bigger sense of, I don't know, I feel whole because I've got this little egg but mm. also like there's this emptiness like it's just it's extra sad that Chump is not here. It's like, yeah, it's hard to explain but his parents are feeling like of course Chumpy's feel, 
pet family is feeling that massively even my family like my brother and mum are feeling that massively too because everyone's like congratulations Dave you're an uncle rah 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 like how cool is this and he's just like love it where is chumpy like yeah it's just he and just you know just been the best dad ever like honestly he, oh. he said he would have done everything but he just it just kills oh. me to know like to think that like he he got I ripped know. off he'd be so good and he just wanted to be a dad so bad fuck yeah he love you so much but he's here with us isn't he yeah she's sometimes oh. super alert and like when she does have her eyes open and she's not squawking I'm just like what do you see it's so funny you actually I feel like I've learned so much in the last week because when her eyes are open I'm like looking around at what she's looking at and I'm like fuck you're just seeing everything through like fresh eyes and I'm wondering if she can see him I'm wondering if she can like I'm wondering if Rummy can sense Chumpy in her or smell Chumpy through her and just like all these things I'm just like super observant and Rummy's just been speaking of Rummy I was gonna say yeah how was Rummy when she met her little sister Rummy she's definitely confused at the start but now she's just like literally taken on this new role so like even yesterday so I'm at Chloe's house right now I pop mini with um don't worry Fisher like on top of some rags and some stuff (laughs) on the couch and she's sleeping and usually when I'm walking around Chloe's house watering all your plants um there's like 700 plants just by the way so it takes a fucking long time um (laughs) Rummy yeah, Rummy will follow me like to every plant upstairs, downstairs. She follows me everywhere, but she just like watches me fill up the thing, and then she like you know I'm I'm kind of walking around, and she like back backs up into Minnie, like just on the floor next to the couch, like backs up right next to Minnie and lays down and just like stays there. And I'm just like, fuck, Rummy's so clingy. She never leaves my side, but if I'm not with Minnie, oh. she's with Minnie. You're gonna have to and watch out. She's so she's so clever. You're gonna turn your back, and she's only pushing Mini out in the pan out the front door next. <laughs> Sometimes I wish she could just. I just wish I could be like Rummy. Can you get night shift tonight, dog? Just. <laughs> but the other night I came out of the shower, and Rummy's on her. Her back legs are on the floor, and then her height, like her front legs, are up on the um on the bed, peering over, looking into like Mini having a sleep on her bubble cloud up on the bed, and I'm like, oh my god she's just like full supervising and then in the middle of the night when um if Minnie's squawking like ready for a feed or something and the nights that Tiana's stayed over so our our really good friend that's been helping me a lot love you T um Rami will like quickly jump up and run into Tiana's room and like knock on (laughs) like try and get her awake and then Tiana will come out and I'll be like mate go back to bed I've got this I'm like Rami don't make me look incompetent I've got this you don't need to go and you don't need to run off and get bloody Tiana I've got this (laughs) <laughs> oh good one Rummy. it's so cute she's oh, like oh my god help. I just cannot wait to get home to it I'm moving in <laughs> yeah doll for sure. oh I'm you sure. we'd be that funny like you would just you're yeah but I've never known anyone who's more obsessed with babies than Chloe every day Chloe's like what does she smell like today and look she <laughs> she actually only had her first bath the other day so I was like oh I don't know she probably smells like vagina juice because <laughs> they Yummy. tell you to leave yummy because I tell you to leave it on them for like you know a while because it's like all um I don't know immune boosting and healing like that but does she smell amazing skin. now she smelled well she already smelled amazing doll yeah yes for everyone that's listening by the way this child has been in Elodie's hand that's how sore she is like this whole episode yeah, hasn't look. made one boo yeah, oh my God. she's, she's mini. such a little angel. Are you telling um, me? Yeah, I've been calling her Rummy too accidentally. Like I'm like, oh, Rummy, <laughs> mini, whatever your name is. <laughs> That's, oh, oh. She's so cute. Um, she's so before we wrap this little episode up, I wanted to speak about the Seven Spotlight episode that just um, recently came out. I just feel like um, I feel pretty fucking emotional after watching that though. Dude, Jesus. how weird is it that you and me are on a fucking documentary? Like, oh, you do such a good job. Oh, what, what about my me, the, my brother? The, the parts with my brother was fucked. Yeah, I, definitely that fucked me. And also Sal, just seeing oh. her and like I'm just like, it's just heavy because it's like, fuck, I'm going to cry. It's just like how the fuck is this? I know. Legit? How is he not here? I don't actually get it. It's so annoying. Oh, I just want to cuddle you. <laughs> It's just so fucking unfair. 
I know. I was like talking to Trump's parents the other night. They're like, how do you feel? And I was like, I seriously feel so happy right now, but I literally feel so guilty saying it because like I shouldn't be like, this is the best, but like where the fuck is he? And he should be here doing this shit with me. Like it's not right. I think just like all the um, like – I think just like all of the like the little videos and like I know. just like when they're talking and shit about him and I'm just like fuck like you're so talented like how um yeah how, take some other why, cut. why the fuck did like you know when you just like look at him in the photos and stuff like that you're like you're like he's so real I don't know it's weird it's weird like I think we like forget until we watch something and then we're like, what the fuck? He yeah. was just a real person. He was here. He was so talented. And now he's like, just th- gone. I know. Cause I feel like it's like, it's obviously real. And we were, we think about him all the time, but then like, I as soon as you see forget. a photo or something like yeah. that, that's what just like, I just can't, I can't. Fuck so it. effed up. They honestly did the most amazing job. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but they just did over and above what I could ever have imagined, like all of that footage that like Chumpy's parents had of when he was a little grommet and like watching him snorkel and watching him jump off the boat and watching him do all this stuff. I was like, fuck, how amazing is it that you guys have that and like that you guys also have this documentary to show Minnie when she's a big girl and understands. Like it, it sums up his life so perfectly like how lucky are you that you like I was so emotional watching it but I just can't even imagine how you felt watching that like how did you actually feel how did you feel watching it I was crying I was bawling my eyes out the entire time I was watching my brother and some of our friends but also I did just also feel like I was watching someone else's story like I dead set was like and I and I you know I do this all the time I'm like is that really my life is Minnie my is this really my baby what you know mm. Minnie you're on TV you've only been alive a few days like what I mm. I it's it's really is an out of body experience even watching the ads come on I'm just like oh my god I cannot believe this is my life it could have been anyone else anyone like mm. and just watching Chump's life as well because I hadn't seen the doco at all. Like I saw it. I think everyone actually saw it. All of our friends saw it before us. Everyone in Sydney because we're an hour delayed here. So I actually hadn't seen it myself. So I was so nervous. But yeah, like you said, they did the most beautiful job of it. But um, um the yeah. I, and I think like what you were saying. Like we obviously think about Chumpy every single day, and I he's always in our minds but at moments like that when it's actually up on the big screen or you post about him it's like Mm. that's when it really 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 hurts like I don't I can't imagine anyone in the whole of Australia that watched it um to have a dry eyes because honestly it was just listening to it and like it just Mm. it was it really 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 hit home and I just think that for me personally watching it I was just like how the fuck did why is it you that got like not that I would wish that upon anyone, no. but like you yeah. got ripped off completely. Like he you you were one person. Like yeah. it just reminded me so much of like how talented he was in every single thing he did. And like what you said, like yeah. nothing was like just a hobby for him. Like he nah. needed to like per- 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 perfect, perfect every single thing that he did. Um, but like far out. I'm just I'm so grateful that you have this to show Minnie like when she's older Same. and like all the um but you guys you know I don't know Same. just watching it I'm just like you and Chumpy were just one of a kind like it just mm. fucking breaks my heart because mm. I don't think I know any sort of relationship or love like that and like how how lucky mm. are you to have these memories and like have this little baby to you know carry on his legacy and oh I just like Minnie's mm. just so lucky to have you as a mum. Like, what the fuck? Like, you know, she. <laughs> if anyone can do this, you know, you can do it. And mm. like, I, I just, I know, like, the type of person that. Mm. <laughs> I know the type of person that Chumpy is, and like, I just want to say to him, like. <laughs> I know that you're not here, but like I promise it'll like look up like Fish and I will look after your girls, all three of them, <laughs> forever. Like I know I just know that and he would do the same. Yeah. 
if we, you know, if I was in that position, but I just like, I just know how, how much of an amazing father he would have been and how much he wanted this. And I just, it just really, really hurts me that he can't be here to experience this and just see how much you're killing it because it's like, I know wow. I keep, I keep thinking like, cause I just feel like, I do just feel like this is so right. And I feel so like weirdly, like, not like confident, but I'm like, I've got, like, I've got this. I, I feel like I'm going to learn how to just be the best mum I can be for you. And everything's feeling just naturally working out for me so far. So like, obviously there's going to be ups and downs, but I, I just like, I keep just wanting to talk to Trump and being like, am I making you proud? Like, am I, am I okay? Like, are, are we all good down here? <laughs> Like I hope he's looking down, just going like "fuck yeah, Elle. like you've got this." Like no, he is I'm leaving 100%. this in your hands. I'm stoked. Like rah rah rah. But he's probably Honest. making, he's probably guiding us and making it all e- like not easy, but um, just a great transition into motherhood for me, and like just helping me heaps. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm mm-hmm. sure he is. Hello, Minnie. Hello, Minnie. <laughs> Maybe that's her saying yes. <laughs> Hello, Minnie. <laughs> Hello, oh Minnie. God. Can you say something? What would you like to say to our listeners, Minnie? <laughs> <laughs> she, darling, shine. Love, Minnie. Um, oh, wow. What, a, what an episode. What a um, fucking episode. Before we, before we wrap this up, I just want to ask Elodie a, a quick question to try and make um, leave this on a, <laughs> on a giggle. <laughs> I know that you've got your own language. What have you been calling little Miss Minnie Pullen? What are her nicknames? Mini, Minnie's got a few nicknames. Minicello. I didn't even know that was a footy player. It's a footy player. <laughs> yeah, it's a footy player. Minicello, Minnesota, Miniopolis. When she's being a bit of a um, pest and like screaming heaps, Mini Minichopolis. I don't know why. <laughs> or no, when she's having a bit of a meltdown, we call her the mini meltdown. Oh, or that's a good one. Mi- mini meltdown. And then when she's trying to, well, at the start when she was not, oh, Rummy's here too. Oh, Rummy. Hello, Rumbledore. If you're watching, you can see her. Um, Mini dog millionaire. When she's <laughs> Min dog millionaire. When she's um, not latching to, like at the start when we we're trying to latch and she was just mucking around and trying, like, you know, like screaming, not latching, latching, then da da da, all that shit. And my nipples are hurting. I was like, muck around, Mini. <laughs> we call this you muck around me. gonna literally not know what her actual name is. Yeah, the poor thing. I don't. I don't think she'll ever know. Who, does anyone know what their name is around me? Like, no. Literally, I don't think anyone no. does. I'm pretty sure Rami oh doesn't even God. know her name. She's a little angel. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I love you, sis. I love you too. I'm so. You. I feel so privileged to be her little godmother. I can't wait to show her all the things that we do best and what Chumpy used to do oh. and go swimming with her and snorkeling and jumping we're off things. We're going to show and... you the good life, sis. We're going to show you we're all We're going to bring things. you to – we're going to – her first Christmas present from us is going to be a pair of headphones so she can come to Uncle Fisher's concerts. Oh, yes. And you won't go <laughs> deaf because we'll have noise cancelling for you. Yeah, and she'll yes. be like, flick of the wrist. <laughs> yeah. oh, well oh on God, that note man. we love you guys all so much thank you for being patient with us um it was we've been trying to give Elodie a break but when you've got a podcast you can't have a break doll yeah so nah. here we are and and bring your kid Minnie, to work day Minnie's been an absolute angel and yeah we'll speak to you guys She's next just, episode just done a shit so that was great timing love you all <laughs> bye love you, sis. Mwah.